I've been doing this bit on Twitch where I review plastic chairs and video games while I'm playing them for a while now. And I realized that a uh, comprehensive compilation of these plastic lawn chair video game reviews might be interesting or even comedically funny to one, maybe even two people. So I decided to compile most, if not all, of the plastic chair reviews into one single video for you to enjoy throughout many different video games. So here it is, the plastic chair review in review. Hey guys, welcome to Brendaniel Daniel Reviews Plastic Chairs and Video Games. This one, uh, looking pretty okay, looking a little less sturdy than I normally like, but, uh, holds my weight, so, you know, it's a good one. I give this, uh, plastic chair in a video game, uh, like a 6 out of 10. Becky, oh, hello everybody, and welcome to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. Today, we're gonna be reviewing this cyberpunk red plastic chair, and I gotta say, I kind of like the design change a little bit. Normally, plastic chairs are gonna have the slits, they're gonna go down and then all the way up. This one curves a little bit to show you that it's in the cyberpunk world, and honestly, Cyberpunk 2077 may have a couple of problems, but at the end of the day, this is a really good plastic chair. Uh, a really, really cyberpunk plastic chair. I'm gonna give it a strong 8 out of 10. There's something, there's something amiss. I can, hmm. I can feel it. Hello everybody, welcome to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review. Today we're looking at this polyester, vinyl, plastic, and metal desk chair. Uh, this thing's stinky, it's dirty, it's gross, and I wouldn't put my butt on this seat if I didn't have to. Uh, looking at this thing, hasn't been used in a while. I'm, I'm just not really a fan of it. Gonna give this one a 2 out of 10. Hello everybody, welcome to the Plastic Chair Review. Ah! Hello everybody, welcome to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. Today we have this exquisite example of a plastic chair, an office chair in fact. And I'm gonna give this one a three out of ten. Not enough, not enough bulge, not enough flavor. Ah, oh, chair. Hello everybody, welcome to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. Uh, I like this one, it's a simple office chair, seems like it's got bits of metal, plastic. Uh, very ergonomic, I like it. Uh, seven out of ten. Not ergonomic enough though. Oh, hello everybody, welcome to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. Taking a look at this from the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 beta. This is a pretty decent plastic chair. Once again, no slit on the bottom for drainage. Uh, does it break? It literally, it's literally indestructible. That's a shit plastic chair if I ever seen one. Four out of 10. Hey everybody, welcome back to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. Did find a plastic chair here actual real plastic chair and i gotta say perfect construction perfect look at this plastic chair and honestly if i was gonna give this plastic chair a rating i i, I would have to give it a, a mighty high one this looks like it supports a lot of weight it supports a seat i think that this plastic chair would support a lot of things i think it would support my butt and i'm gonna give it my first 10 out of 10. hello and welcome to brendan's plastic chair review uh today we're looking at this plastic chair that's locked in this control booth that i can't get into uh, the door seems to be locked, but there is a chair in there, and I gotta say, the color palette on that chair, mwah, oh, delicious. That's a delicious looking chair right there. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna look at it, if I could get a taste of it, get a whiff of it, might give it a better score, but I'm gonna stick with, I think, a 5 out of 10. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Brendan's la 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 Lawn Chair Review. Now, this chair is more of a kitchen or dining chair. But it is out on the lawn, so it does qualify for a good old-fashioned lawn chair review. Now, worst thing about this chair is that it can't be used as a weapon. Unlike chairs in most video games, however, you can pick it up. But it is unaccessible as a weapon. And not really one of my favorite chairs. Uh, it's nice that you can pick it up, but like that. I couldn't kill that deer dog with it. And uh, that's honestly almost disappointing. So I'm going to have to give... Uh, this chair, a three out of ten. Oh, here we go. Plastic chairs. Alright, what's up? My name is Bryn Daniel, and today we're rating the plastic chairs once again in Homefront Revolution. On further inspection, a little bit of clipping on the edge there. Anna aliasing isn't holding up too well. Gonna have to give this one a four out of ten. Plastic chair. Real plastic chairs. Get out of there, Travis. Alrighty. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Bryn Daniel Plastic Chair Review. Now, you know I'm not one for crying, not one for lying, not one for uh, being uh, against any kind of plastic chair, but these ones are a little bit low-poly, in my opinion. However, there's a certain charm to a low-poly plastic chair that you really just don't get to see anymore. And I always love the nice off-white plastic chairs over any other kind of colored plastic chair. Uh, they're very close to the classics that I enjoy, 
But I, I, I think that these just are a cut under what I would definitely like. So I'm going to give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. These are pretty all right plastic chairs, I'm just going to say. Uh, pretty, pretty okay in terms of like plastic chairs and what you can do with them. Uh, they have four to five, I think, slits about there, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. So I'm going to give them a six out of ten. Ah, uh, chair time. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Plastic Chair Review. I can kick these at people. 10 out of 10. Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to the Plastic Chair Review. So glad that we can be here. Let me get the right camera angle here. And uh, pop your peepers on those beauties right there. Now, here's a problem with a lot of plastic chairs back in the old days. A lot of times they would build these plastic chairs. They wouldn't have slits. There's no water drainage spouts. And the arms are far too short. Now, if this was a good plastic chair, this would be something mwah, that had good back support. They had strong, fertile legs, but no, 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 no. Let me tell you something. These are seriously deranged chairs. I mean, I can't even tell if the arms are connected while I'm getting blasted with the goo here. So, while Silent Hill 2 has been a journey and an adventure so far, and I've enjoyed it, uh, I'm gonna say this chair fucking sucks. Two out of ten. A chair! Oh, a chair! Hello and welcome to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review. Today we're gonna be looking at this. The, this. This little beauty here. Now, this plastic chair, I can't see a lot of it. I, I honestly gotta say that... This plastic chair, honestly, it's okay, all right? Like, it's not premium. It's not all quite there. But it's there enough for it to make sense. It's got four legs. It's functional. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review. Today we have just a certifiable crazy amount of plastic chairs with some beautiful padding. I like the red and the wicker look to them, but you know there's some plastic in there, so they count. Uh, these are pretty good looking chairs. Uh, no physics on them though, so that's going to get you some demerits. This plastic chair gets a 6 out of 10. Hello everybody and welcome back to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review. Uh, today we're going to take a look at this red chair here uh soaked in pleather with a metal frame here yeah it's probably not plastic but i'm sure the pleather is a mixture of palmer really like this red chair doesn't look to be completely comfy and i think it clashes a little bit with the rocking chair here and the normal seated chair but i do like a good like soft red like this so i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten hello and welcome to brent daniels plastic chair review Right there in the background, we have what seems to be a simple plastic lawn chair, but it's going to get a demerit because it's not completely accessible, and I would prefer it if it were. But since it's not accessible, it's going to get a lower rating than normal. It also doesn't have armrests, so when you're laying in it, you're sitting in it, you're lounging in it, all around going to be an uncomfy time. That plastic chair gets a 2 out of 10. We got a great big chair. Chair. Welcome to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review. It's gone. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review. Today, we're taking a look at this beautiful chair. Uh, I'm going to say only two slits. All right. And, I, and I'm going to be honest with you. Only two slits on this plastic chair. It's awful. Two out of 10. Oh, his chair's acting up. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Brendan Plastic Chair Review. Don't want to ride that chair. Haha, <laughs> three out of 10. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. Since everything in these games is made of Lego, every chair is plastic. I really like how these look. Uh, very fashionable, not going to lie. I kind of look like they're, they, they, they look like a bunch of pipes stuck together. Going to give these chairs a seven out of 10. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Plastic Chair Review. These are technically couches, but you can sit in them just like a chair. Going to give these a four out of 10. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Plastic Chair Review. These are not actually wooden chairs. They are plastic. Plastic facsimiles of wood. And you know what I feel how I feel about chairs that try to trick you into thinking they're wood. These get a one out of ten. Oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review. I'm in love. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. They were right where I needed them when I needed them. 
Thank God for the plastic chairs and thank God for the plastic chair review. Hello everybody and welcome to the plastic chair review. My name is Brent Daniel and today we have these beautiful lawn chairs here in Fortnite. Gotta say, have not touched on these yet. They're not quite plastic, not quite chairs, but honestly, they're lawn chairs, so we gotta talk about them. Now I like the pink, I like the color of the pink, I like the steel as well. The construction's quite fine, but they're a little bit awkwardly balanced and I don't think they'd be quite as comfortable as you would think. So, uh, Brendan Smash. Gonna give that a three out of ten. Hello everybody, welcome to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. Looking at this plastic chair that skeleton's in and it's gone. Three out of ten. Welcome once again everybody to Brent Daniel's Plastic Chair in Video Games Review 1. This is your standard plastic chair. Very, very good composition. Very good look. Uh, I always love that good bog standard plastic chair. Something about the, the the white vinyl plastic chair, you know, calls to me. Now it may be a little bit boring, but let's do a let's do a durability test. Indestructible, which is the way that it should be. Uh how, oh fuck, ten out of ten. Right there, ten out of ten. That was perfect fit. That's the first ten out of ten on the plastic chair review. You've seen it. We've all seen it. The first ten out of ten on the plastic chair review. That was some fucking distance. Our first 10 out of 10. I was gonna give it an eight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha. Uh, hello everybody and welcome to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. Uh, pixelated plastic chairs are always impressive to see. And I'm proud that this one is a well-loved member of the plastic chair family. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. I don't like how it doesn't have a pure edge. It looks like it's stilted on the back there, but I, I think it's still a strong contender for good plastic chair. So I, I, I think it's still good. Not perfect, but good. Hello everybody, welcome back to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review, and today we have a bit of a treat for you. We have a plastic chair in the video game Stray, and ooh, looks like this bitch has some physics. Looks like this, looks like this motherfucker got some real physics here. This thing got no fucking weight. I'm just saying, this thing has no weight. This thing has no power and it has no hold over me. You can tell that I can bring this anywhere with me. I, I can get this I can get this just kind of anywhere I would like it. And honestly, that's a little bit of a bonus, really. The fact that uh the fact that this plastic chair moves around has physics really, really doing it for me. I will say that I prefer a plastic chair myself that has slits in the bottom of the actual seat there so that rainwater can easily get through during those hot, wet, and warm summers. But overall, a plastic chair with physics is a good plastic chair. So this uh, this this gets a nine out of ten. Oh my god, hey everybody, welcome back to the plastic chair review. This is actually a different plastic chair than the one earlier. And I can tell you that this game has two white plastic chair models because I made an observation about the earlier chair. In fact, the earlier chair did not have the slits on the bottom to let hydration through the chair. Now, this chair, however, has the slits that let the water go from the top of the chair down to the bottom of the chair all the way down to the floor. So I'm going to take a moment here and say, this chair, if it had physics, definitely give it a 9, maybe a 10 out of 10. I'm going to have to give it a soft 8, though. This chair gets a soft... Eight. Chair. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brent Daniel's Lawn Chair Review. Bye bye. It threw pretty good. I'm going to be honest. This one, uh, I like how it's wooden. I like how, uh, I like the aesthetic of it, really. But, uh, end of the day, I, I think that really with this lawn chair, I don't really like the color. I think if this was like a dark oak lawn chair, or uh, a little bit better constructed, I think it'd be a lot happier. So, uh, I'm gonna give this lawn chair a 6 out of 10. Ren Daniels, uh, plastic chair review. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my plastic chair review. Hope everybody's having a great day. And uh, this plastic chair, pretty great looking, but very feeble in the end. So, I mean, not the best plastic chair that I've found, but, uh, definitely is in one of the top 10 of plastic chairs. We'll go back. Looks like there's another one still intact. Yeah, taking a look at this plastic chair, I mean, like, big ups. Big ups to, uh, yeah, I don't want the controller connected, fuck off. Big ups to, um, Crytek for making such a realistic plastic chair, and, uh, check this out, when I'm in strength mode, like this, I throw it, I throw it real good, I break it. Watch, watch me throw this. See how far it goes? Right into the ocean. Uh, I'm gonna give that, like, a 7 out of 10, um, uh, plastic chair. 
And uh, I'll see you next time on the Plastic Chair Review. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Plastic Chair Review. Uh, this is just plastic and lawn chair enough for me to make mention of it. This is a very futuristic lawn chair, and it may be mostly metal, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that it's kind of a polycarbonate uh, kind of base for the metal. Uh, and I know they say uh, assuming makes an ass out of you and me, but I really like the full design of this chair anyway, so we're just going to call it a plastic chair, and I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Plastic Chair Review. Today, we're going to take a look at these red and white metalish chairs. Now, these are, in fact, plastic chairs. You can tell uh, by the underside there specifically. Thank you, Terrorized Citizen, for knocking that over. These are not great. There's uh, no hole for them. That one just disappeared like it's a ghost. Uh, overall, really not a big fan of these plastic chairs. Looking at them right here. I'm just not really impressed. They can do so much more with them. They've done so little. So I'm going to have to give this a three out of ten. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Plastic Chair Review. So soon, so soon, yet so far away, uh, because I have found a standard, and it's gone. Uh, <laughs> I have found a standard plastic chair. Now, this plastic chair is going to be a little bit different than the last one that we saw, uh, mostly because this is kind of your day-to-day -day plastic chair. I will say nothing on the bottom for venting liquid in case it starts to rain, but we are in a desert, so... All in all, I think this is a pretty standard affair for plastic chairs, so I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. Hey everybody, welcome to the Plastic Chair Review. I'm in a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a kerfuffle with these fellows right now, but let me take a look at this chair. Uh, like always, I do say that a good plastic chair has slits in the bottom to allow for drainage, and these don't have it, but these are a very classic plastic chair design, and I'm going to give them 7 out of 10. <clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back to the Plastic Chair Review. Now, we've already reviewed these chairs in the previous Judgment Stream, uh, but I'd like to look at them again in high definition, and let me just tell you something. These are still 10 out of 10 plastic chairs. You know why? You know the big reason? You know what makes a 10 out of 10 plastic chair versus a 9 out of 10 plastic chair, right? The fucking slip for drainage. That's right. They got the slip for drainage. That's real shit right there. That's how you know it's a good chair. 10 out of 10. No problem. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. So nice to have you back here. These are some of the certified plastic school chairs that you'd find in many a school in the early to mid-2000s. Uh, and let me tell you something. These chairs fucking suck to sit in. They suck for your back. They suck for paying attention. Overall, they're just plain shit. No armrests, no comfort, no fucking nothing. Uh, gonna have to give these psychos a 1 out of 10. Oh, hello everybody and welcome back once again already. We're here at the Brendaniel Plastic Chair Review. I was talking about that chair back there, but then I got fucking surprised by a couple of good boys here. Look at this. Look at this fucking abomination here, actually. Look at this piece of shit right here. Is this two chairs? Is this two chairs fused together? You know what? I'm going to give it a, a, like, two points for creativity. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. However, these standard bearers, these standard bearers of plastic chair technology, one thing, I'm going to say it's shiny. Like a polycarbonate chair, it's shiny. And we have a green variant right there as well. So honestly, I'm going to have to give those a 9 out of 10 for plastic chairs. Real primo shit. Hello and welcome to Brendaniel's Plastic Chair Review. We're here in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and we're looking at the plastic chairs over by the Cluckin' Bell. These ones have a very simple construction and seem to be very form-fitting. They fit in with the world, but I'm just not really buying them because they're not that classic plastic chair. I'm gonna give these a 4 out of 10. Look at this chair, 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 look at this chair! Hello everybody! Well Welcome back to Brendaniel's Plastic Chair Review, loaded highly by the laureates of Twitch as the best bit online. Now take a look at this plastic chair, and uh, it's pretty good. Gotta say, it's got a really good aesthetic to it, got a good like camping chair aesthetic to it, and I like the color orange on this chair. Gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. Hello everybody, welcome back once again to Brandon's Plastic Chair Review. Here we have a couple of excellent patio chairs. Very, very good. For low resolution patio chairs like this, normally I'd be less impressed. I'd say they're not good. They're gross. They don't have enough texture. But I will make an exception because I have to say without a shadow of a doubt, these are some of the nicest, bestest, juiciest looking low poly plastic chairs I have seen in all of my days, and I'm gonna give these 
a 9.3 out of 10. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brent Daniel's Plastic Chair Review. And let me just tell you something. This is an exquisite plastic chair. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say any of that fucking bullshit that they say to you over at the Professional Plastic Chair Reviewer channel. No, 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 no. What we're going to talk about is the drainage on this chair is amazing. You could take a shit in this chair and all of it would drain right out the bottom. Wait for the next rain. It washes it all away. I like the sleek, modern design. I like that it has no damage whatsoever. And let me tell you something. This chair is exquisite. And out of every game that I've seen, every chair I've seen, I do prefer the plain white plastic lawn chair. Uh, But this one, still excellent. And I'm still going to give it a 9 out of 10. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Brent Daniels Plastic Chair Review. Welcome to the Roach King's chair, the Roach King's throne. This is a certified plastic chair. This is where you want to sit if you're on top of the world. King of the scrapyard. Big boy in the goddamn concrete jungle. This chair is one, aesthetically pleasing. Two, this is a certified, ring that bell, ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding. This is a poop chair. We're going to give this one a 10 out of 10. Oh, hey, stuck around to the end of the video. Wow, look at you. Very powerful, very huge. I'm impressed. I uh, have raided many a plastic chair in video games, and I won't stop doing it until I get bored of doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this little look into the mind of Brent Daniel as I reviewed these plastic chairs as I saw them. And uh, hey... Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. There are also things. I'm gonna go sit by a fire, get a nice big cup of cocoa, and uh, wonder why there's a fire in my living room. Ah. You can also follow me on Twitch and uh, Patreon and all that YouTuber stuff. Anyway, uh, uh, do you like? Did you, what's your favorite plastic chair? <laughs> Bye.